All right, y'all. Peace and blessings. God bless you all. I'm Jarvis Kingston, and I hope that y'all doing all right and staying strong and solid in these times that we're in. I pray that you have repented and that you are baptized. I pray that you are safe, protected, and prayed up. And I just pray that whatever situation that you're going through, that the Lord is with you, that he guides you, protects you, he looks out for you, he comforts you. I pray that your mental health gets better and that you become more strong and wise in the Lord. I pray that you keep fighting a good fight of faith. You keep running your race. You keep your eyes fixed on the Messiah. You keep your eyes fixed on the prize. You stay on that narrow straight gate path. And you help out plenty of people along your journey forevermore. Amen. Always remember that the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you and that the Messiah intercedes for you. The spirit intercedes for you. So always stay thankful, grateful, appreciative, and take it one day at a time. Most definitely, let us thank the Lord for another day. Let us thank the Lord for giving us another day to seek his face. Let us thank the Lord for food in our belly, clothes on our back, and a roof over our head. And let us thank the Lord for protecting us coming in and going out. Guiding us through the morning, getting us through the afternoon, getting us through the evenings, getting us through the nights, getting us through the week. He is constantly looking out for us with his grace, mercy, favor, love, the outstretched arm of God, the mighty hand of God, the finger of God, his word, his only begotten son dying for our sins. There's so much things the Lord has done for us throughout our lifetime and continues to keep doing for us because his truth is everlasting and his mercy and forever amen so always keep him first always worship him always praise him thank him trust in him and everything you got going on in your life amen most definitely welcome everyone i appreciate all of you for listening supporting it means a lot to me i love you all praying for you all let us always uplift each other in christ and encourage each other in the lord let us always pray for each other and to see for one another comfort each other support each other all those great awesome amazing things brothers and sisters of the faith all over the world let us be together on one accord for the lord amen much love to the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all four corners of the earth, all the scattered Israelites among the nations, all ends of the earth. Much love to the churches and mysteries out there with the sound doctrine, the peace, the love, the harmony, the fellowship and the services. Much love to all the previous martyrs, current martyr, current martyrs and future martyrs, the brave, bold, isolated, courageous believers who are going through it for the gospel, who are being persecuted for the faith who are going through many things for his name's sake. Amen. Stay strong, steadfast, and firm. Much love to the to the great tribulation saints down the road. Much love to all the grafted in Gentiles of all nations, tribes, languages, tongues, races, faces, kindreds, all over the world. Much love to all the brand new converts out there, all the brand new creatures in Christ out there. Anyone who just repented, God bless you. Anyone who just got baptized, God bless you. Anyone who has a brand new life in Christ, God bless you as well. If you didn't repent, get baptized. Go repent and get baptized ASAP immediately. Amen. Welcome, family. Shalom. Greetings to all of you, most definitely. Welcome, everybody, all peoples, all nations, all tribes, all languages, all tongues, all races, all faiths, all kindreds, everybody. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. All the animals, all the creatures, all the beasts, all the fishes in the sea, the birds in the air, the trees, the plants, the mountains. Let all of God's creation praise him. Amen. Whether you are an Israelite or a Gentile, it is all right. Whether you are chosen or adopted, grafted in, it is all right. Let us gather together and praise the Most High. Sing a new song. Clap our hands. Stomp our feet. Praise him. Rejoice. Always rejoice. Make a joyful noise. Make a joyful sound. Cry out to him. Dance. Express yourself. Play an instrument. Do what you got to do for the Most High. He is always watching us, so always serve him with gladness and joy, and always worship in spirit of truth. Amen. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your might, heart, soul, strength, and might. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your might, heart, soul, strength, and might. Let us love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And let us keep doing Father's business and Father's will for the rest of our lives until the sun comes back. Amen. He has come back like a thief in the night in a twinkling of an eye. He has come back at an hour nobody knows but the Father. Let's be alert, sober, vigilant, prayed up, watchful. Washed by the water, by the word, the washing of the water through the word. Let us keep our lamp and oil. Let us stand our purpose and call for the most high. Let us know the Lord better. Let's get more close to him. Let's seek his face. Draw near to God, he will draw near to you. Let us obey the gospel. Let us obey the law, statute, commandments. Let us obey all of God's word. Anything the Most High has told us personally, according to our life, our calling, our purpose, our situation, our gifts, our talents, our, our circumstances, handle that, people. Amen. Be responsible and accountable and just be on point every day. All right. Stay stronger. Take it one day at a time for the Most High. Okay. Let us keep it all together for the Lord. Let us keep the faith. Let us keep the word of God, keep the testimony of the Messiah, keep the law, statutes, decrees, precepts, ordinances, promises, covenants, keep all the commandments, keep everything with all your heart. Amen. Most definitely, people. So today's message, what I'm going to do is go through today's Bible reading, go through the recommended reading scripture and go through the commentary. And then from there, I will close out with a prayer. I will close out with a priestly blessing. And I will close out giving all the praise, honor, and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And praise the only begotten Son who died for our sins. Amen. Today's Bible reading, the book of Joel, chapter 2, verses 12 through 27. The recommended reading scriptures is Psalm 32. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 33, verses 10 through 16. 
and also the book of Acts chapter 2, verses 37 through 39. The title of this commentary is Life's Do-Overs. To children on the playground, the concept of a do-over is well known. When they're playing kickball and the ball gets stuck in a tree, or when they're playing basketball and the ball gets stuck between the backboard and the rim, a chorus of do-over spontaneously erupts. It's an unspoken rule that every child knows. Sometimes as adults, we wish we could resurrect the rule in our own lives. When we miss a bill payment, we long to be able to appeal to the utility company for a do-over. When we speak a thoughtless word that hurts another person, we wish for the same. Through the prophet Joel, God tells the Israelites they can have a do-over. If they'll repent, God will return what he has taken away in punishment. Apparently, a plague of locusts has destroyed the nation's crops, and God promises to give the people abundant harvests once again. So how can we make the reality of a do-over active in our life once again? Truth be told, this concept usually doesn't work in our adult lives and relationships without a good deal of work and humility on our part. We bear the consequence of our mistakes until regret grows and we ask for forgiveness. That's when grace can intervene and the person we've harmed can forgive. The same is true in our relationship with God. If we understand that sin has kept us from realizing our potential, we need to do the same as the Israelites. Repent. In this case, we don't really achieve the do-over ourselves. Instead, we receive it from God. We simply turn to God with our confession. Many men find confession especially difficult because it cuts at our dignity and self-worth. When we confess, we admit our mistakes and failures. We assume that these admissions don't make us look very good. However, God loves to see us confess and repent of our sin because in doing so, we show that we desire to turn to him. When we're man enough to confess our wrongs, God can choose to pour out his blessings for the next phase of our lives. Amen. Things to take away from the commentary. What areas of your life feel so damaged by sin that they require a fresh start? What do you hope your life will amount to? How does that mesh with God's plan for your life? Do you trust God enough to confess your mistakes and failures to him? Why or why not? How can you gain this kind of trust in God? In other words, quote unquote, if our yesterdays are in a state of good repair, they provide strength for today. If not repaired, they create havoc. Quote, Gordon MacDonald. All right. Yeah. So that's the commentary. OK. All right, people, let's humble ourselves before the most high God and let us repent, cry out to him, confess all of our sins and wrongdoings and let's be better and let the Lord guide us in return. Amen. So that's the commentary, all right? What I love to do is I close out, give all the praise, honor, and glory to the most high God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and praise his only begotten son who died for our sins. Amen. Hallelujah. So here we go. Hallelujah. Praise the most high God of heaven and earth. He is the God of Shem. He is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. He is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob forever. He is the God of Israel. He is the God of the Hebrews. He is the God of Jeshurun. Praise him. He is the God of Noah, Job, and Daniel. Praise the Lord. He is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Most High. His only begotten Son died for our sins, rose up three days later. Much love to the Messiah for shedding his blood for all of us, y'all. Yes, yes, he is the last Adam, the second Adam. Praise the Lord, the Advocate, the Almighty, true living God. Praise the Lord, the Alpha and Omega. Amen. The Apostle of our profession, the Arm of the Lord, the Atonement Sacrifice for our sins, the Author and Finisher of our faith, the Author and Perfector of our faith, the Author of life, the Author of salvation, the beginning and the end, the beginning of creation of God the beloved son, the blessed and only potent, the blessed and only ruler, the blessed and only sovereign, the branch, the bread of God, the bread of life, the bridegroom, the capstone, the captain of salvation, the chief cornerstone, the chief shepherd, Christ, the Christ of God, the consolation of Israel, the cornerstone, the counselor, wonderful counselor, the creator, the day spring, the deliverer, the desire of the nations, the door, the elect of God, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God is with us, eternal life, everlasting father, faith and true witness, faithful and true, the faithful witness, the first and last, the first begotten, the first born from the dead, first born over all creation, the forerunner, the gate, the glory of the Lord, God, the good shepherd, the great high priest, the great shepherd, the head of the church, the heir of all things, the high priest, holy and true, the holy one, the hope, the hope of glory, the horn of salvation, the I am, the I am that I am, the I am who I am, the great I am, the image of God, Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Nassai, Jesus of Nazareth, Jesus, the judge of Israel, the judge, King eternal. He is the king of Israel. Amen. He is the king of kings. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings and Lord of lords. Hosanna, Hosanna, the highest praise. Hosanna, the son of David. Blessed be he that comes in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. King of saints, king of the ages, king of the Jews, the king, the lamb, the lamb of God, the lamb without blemish, the last Adam, the lawgiver, the leader and commander, the life, the life of the world. 
Lion of the tribe of Judah, the living one, the living stone, the Lord, the Lord, our righteousness.